against during the season? I think just trying to be, you know, the most versatile player that I can be, help out in, you know, every situation possible, whether that be a run game, pass game, special teams especially, so. How, how good and confident did you feel coming off of the game that you had against the Raiders, having been able to, you know, put all of your tools on film? Yeah, I mean, I felt really good after the game. I thought I did pretty well, but, you know, there's always stuff you can work on. Um, you know, I mean, this is a business, and, you know, anything can happen. So I, I remained optimistic the whole time, and, you know, everything worked out the way they were supposed to, in my opinion. So Did you talk about your path just really not getting a lot of reps in those first couple of games and then making the most of it? Yeah, I mean, I was just trying to, like you said, make the most of, you know, every opportunity. Um, I played quite a bit of special teams those first two games, too, so I did get um, some reps um, in the special teams and, you know, the later part of the offensive snaps as well. So, yeah, I just took every opportunity and ran with it. What's been the message from the coaching staff about how you can bring something different to this running back room and into this offense? Yeah, they just, I think they they like how, how quick I learned that, uh, um, offensive scheme that we have with pass pro and stuff um, really took pride in learning everything that I possibly could and just try to you know sponge up as much information from the vets as, as possible so someone who hasn't watched you play what how would you describe your running style uh, physical <laughs> talk more about that I mean, I mean, I'm not the fastest guy out there so uh, I try to run with my weight and keep my pads low and you know just keep churning my legs so did you know going in the Raiders game you were going to be that big part of an offense? Um, I mean, coach, coach kind of talked to me before the game and said that I was going to get more reps than, than usual, and then he said I was just going to be rolling. So um, kind of took it took it like that and just kept on going. Did you feel the momentum kind of for you as yeah, that game went going? Yeah, I felt a little bit more comfortable as the game went on, and I think you know by the time that second half rolled on, I was I was really confident. So did anyone tell you like you made it, or did yesterday just kind of? Hours took by and you hadn't been brought in and you're. Like, yeah, it was kind of like that. Hours were taken by. I was getting a little nervous and uh, yeah, but I mean, I was excited at the end of the day. So. We're just like staring at your phone or what? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I called my wife and she's like, "Just put your phone down." So. <laughs> you're my wife. I'm sorry. Yeah. Uh, can you talk a little bit about um, the pride you take in in being more than just a traditional fullback? Example, being a receiver out of the backfield. So. Yeah, I think it's just something that you know a team will value more than you know just putting your hand in the dirt and going and blocking guy. Obviously, that's important, but uh, you know being able to, like you said, catch routes out of the backfield and pass block and all that stuff is just adds more value to yourself. So, being able to finally catch up with Trey one on one once again, having y'all's reunion, how cool is that? Yeah, it's awesome. I haven't seen, I haven't seen Trey, but probably two times since he he's been in the league. So I mean, it was good to catch up and. Uh, Glad that he's a cowboy. So. You think it's good for him just have a familiar face in here and trying to be that for him too? Yeah, for sure. Thanks. Yeah. Thank you. Thanks. Sir.